The Wind Cave Trail is quite steep. The trail climbs over 900 feet in 1.8 miles. If you hike to Wind Cave, please take a water bottle for each person and wear sturdy shoes, sunscreen and a hat. It's the road that we came in on. So I'm just chilling out in a cave. You know, just a random cave. It's got rocks and dust and... Oh, it's a thousand feet in the air as well. some ducks sitting on a log over there and now just walking past the boat tours which take you to hidden falls and all sorts of other cool places here at the Grand Tetons this is Jenny Lake Boating come check it out Here. We're currently at Ice Lake, which actually um, crosses the Continental Divide. Now, the Continental Divide, Yellowstone, it crosses down through Canada, um, comes down through America, through the Rocky Mountains, and then it goes down into Mexico via the Sierra Madre. And this little lake that we're by here, Ice Lake, it does this extraordinary thing where the east flowing water actually goes into the Pacific and the west flowing water rotates and goes into the Atlantic, which is really bizarre. There's a, do um, there's a picture for it over here, look, I'll show you. It's really interesting. Yeah, it, it crosses the Continental Divide, which is fascinating. Kepler Cascades. Oh, he's, oh, he's eating the bugs off of it. Guys, look, Jeremy's back. He's eating the bugs off my truck. He's come all the way from Bryce Canyon. He's following us here. Jeremy! Jeremy! How you doing? Hi, buddy. It's definitely that exact pro. That exact one. That's, that's <laughs> the one that came from Bryce Canyon, I'm sure of it. Because he's black and he had a beak. Alright. Hi, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy's come back to see me. There's Hi, mate. Keys. There's the yeah. How was Bryce Canyon? How was the flight here? Okay. You good? Cool. Awesome. Right, buddy, we'll, we've got to go back, so we'll see you in a little bit. Bye, friend. So, although we travelled through space and time to get here by going through three different time zones, um, I haven't travelled a few months into the future, don't worry. I'm just in the Christmas section of the gift shop here at uh, Yellowstone. It's beautiful. The layout, the smells, the theming, the culture, uh, the, the merchandise, everything is beautiful here. Um, but yeah, I'm just up, up top, just overlooking the rest of the store. And 
they have ice cream. I can't wait. I, was, I saw that and I got so excited. I think it's because uh, out in the desert I was craving like ice pops and things. And uh, when you're out there, that's all you can do. All you can do is crave things. And now we're back in the real world. It's mine for the taking. Look at what I got. A double scoop, mountain berry and strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Can't wait. Mm. God, this thing, I just walked up to it not knowing what it was, and it stinks of eggs, like sulphur. Oh. Ugh. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. This crap stinks, so I'm out of here. I guess this is my last will and testament. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> Captain Stinky right. Farts keeps trying to scare me because there's wolf spiders in this eggy wasteland. Why were you late to work? Oh well, there was a buffalo in the road. I wouldn't get near it. It's a big guy's an idiot. Oh. Meanwhile, in Wyoming. A traffic jam from Buffalo. <laughs> Here's um, the map of Yellowstone National Park, crossing over from uh, Montana, Idaho and Wyoming. I'll show you where we came in. Uh, past Lewis Lake uh, and the West Thumb, of the main lake here, Yellowstone Lake. Came all the way around, uh, learned some interesting facts about Isa Lake and how it's such an important part of this entire park. Um, ooh, Lurt's trying to get me there. Ah. Oh, oh, there's the wind doing it, not me, I swear. Um, Old Faithful's over here, which is really cool. The Kepler Cascades were pretty awesome. Uh, we came all the way up here, yada yada yada. Da, 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 da. Went to Madison. Uh, Gibbon Falls was quite nice. And now we're here at the Roaring Mountain. To be honest, this map's making more noise than the mountain. Yeah, that's just a fraction of what's in this park. So we're now just at the Golden Gate. Which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a crow, look. Jeremy's back. Jeremy featuring in the Bryce Canyon vlog. And I think we saw a few crows earlier as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, he's coming towards us. Hi, friend. Hello. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, as I was saying, um, that used to be apparently made of wood. Would you believe it? Wood. You believe it. What's up, Jeremy? What are you doing, mate? Just chilling. Cool. Oh, he's coming after Ross. Look, look out. Ah. Oh, you've got... <laughs> Did you chuck a whole loaf down there? Oh. And yet he... See, he's he's humble. He just wants a little bit. No, he doesn't. Okay, no, he's, he's, he's a gannet. So, right here, we are at Golden Gate. Uh, we're going to head up to Mammoth Hot Springs, cut across. Uh, we're going to check out the Petrified Tree before heading to Tower Roosevelt. Down to Tower Fall, all the way down south to Canyon Village, where we're going to see the falls there, look, upper and lower. Uh, and then we're going to head down out this way, all the way down to Cody, which I believe should be about 53, does it say 53 miles down there? Yeah, 53 miles, look. Um, now, just to give you an idea for time scale, we started all the way down here, I think about 10 this morning, 11, something. All of this way. Yeah, we crossed over that crease. That crease that's not a crease in the map, that's the uh, continental divide. <laughs> all the way around, da -da 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 -da, through Madison, through Norris without realising, all the way up. And this is where we've got to, and it is what time is it now? Um, half five, I think, something like that. Uh, but yeah. So we're just in uh, Mammoth, Wyoming, which is a town, but it is situated in Yellowstone National Park. It's really quaint, and it kind of gives me vibes of um, the town from Back to the Future. Um, it's really interesting though, because as it's part of the National Park, you technically have to pay to get here. Um, but I mean, if you're already in the area, come check it out. I just picked up a blueberry cheesecake root beer float, which is going to be awesome, because I used to make uh, blueberry cheesecake for my mum. 
Um, so yeah, fun fact, and I just thought, treat yourself again, because I had ice cream earlier. The ethical vision for the park, compared to the actions of the people running it, were not quite aligned. The wolf is the absolute prime example of the reality not matching the idea. With no park service in place, Yellowstone was a lawless land and its resources were abused. In 1880, the superintendent referred to ferocious wolves and snarling coyotes and proudly boasted how their once bountiful numbers had been reduced to near extermination through hunting and poisoning. And this was the guy in charge of the place. So not five minutes after stopping off at uh, the bridge, we've uh, been told to stop off at Undine Falls, which is pretty spectacular, to say the least. making our way up now to see the petrified tree which has been here for 50 million years and supposedly 27 forests have been and gone uh, and succumbed to the uh, like the mud and the dirt and things um, that are all sitting on top of one another and it's the silica in the ash which causes it to um, harden and apparently uh, over the last hundred years vandals and souvenir hunters have come along and taken bits off the petrified tree so now it has to be protected by a fence. But the fact that it's been here for 50 million years, that's amazing. Anyone for a swim? <laughs> so this is the Calcite Springs Overlook, which is currently sitting at 280 feet above the ground. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful, it's spectacular. Just listen to it. Check this out, we're at lookout point uh, for the lower falls, I believe, here in uh, Yellowstone. Hi. Just getting professional photos, look whilst I'm over here doing a uh, 720p high quality entertainment video for you all. <laughs> Quiet you. <laughs> um, this is spectacular. When we first got out of the car, I looked down. And it's the first time I've ever looked at something and just gone like, whoa, like, what is that? You, know, you really can't distinguish the depth, especially not on a camera as well. The perspective is just all out of whack. Look at that, look. 